Mary Beth, this is such a great question and so real and so transparent. I, I love you for asking it. And I just want to say that I th always think it's important that we look honestly at our leaders, our religious beliefs, and that's why I tend to be very critical about a lot of things I've seen. And I happen to know a lot of evangelical leaders fairly closely in my time and know that they're not always all they're cracked up to be. But I also know that I'm not all I'm cracked up to be all the time too, and I can be wrong. And one of the things that I think is really important in this season is that if you've had an experience where you interacted with the divine, God came and visited you and it was life changing and it was under a worship song from Bethel or Hillsong or the Vineyard Movement or the Jesus People Movement. And some of the things we found out that those weren't always at their best doesn't take away from the experience that you had with God. There was a documentary made years ago that showed how the tent meetings and all the healing revivals, some of them were fixed and fake with healers using earpieces to hear information about people and then relating it as if they were a prophet. And in the middle of that, one of the things they found is that there were still people who got healed of illness, even as it was a fraudulent event. And I think in some ways that's because our humanity is amazing. We can overcome things when our faith well wells up. And, and it just may be that God is gracious enough to find us in the middle of even some unhealthy situations and bless us through those. So nobody, me, my evangelicalish friends, your friends, anybody else gets to steal a special moment that you've had with the divine God that impacted your life forever. If, if somebody was in a Jimmy Swaggart service and found out Jimmy Swaggart was having sex with his secretary, that wouldn't change having an amazing experience with God in a Jimmy Swaggart service. It may mean some trauma we have to work through as a part of, of what we're doing in our deconstruction work. But again, let me say, nobody, not even this guy, Pastor Paul, gets to take away that beautiful moment from you. I've had people ask me, and even my wife sometimes says, can I still listen to worship music? It still blesses me. It still takes me to a beautiful place. And as my friends on Evangelicalish were saying the other night, yeah, music has been used to manipulate people. Lighting has been used to manipulate people in church. Our, our soft pastor voices have been used to manipulate people in church. But that doesn't mean there hasn't still been great experiences in those churches. So one thing we can do in this learning to walk out a Romans 12 to renewal of the mind is I can have a wonderful experience with God in the middle of something that was traumatic to you. And I can sit with you in the trauma and grieve that with you, yet still be able to say, but somehow God met me in the middle of that. Those are the nuanced things we need to learn. Those are the things I'm trying to coach people in in my coaching is how do we live with a renewed mind that says two things can be the same and can be true at the same time. Yes, there can be trauma and still great things happen. Yes, my parents injured me and yes, they still did the best they could and did a lot of good for me. It's important to be able to live in that abstract place. So if Stephen, Spur Stephen uh, Furtick, who I have a lot of trouble with, blessed you with his sermons and still does, I don't get to take that from you. And if Hillsong music takes you to heaven, let it take you to heaven. There is nothing wrong with that. Even as I continue to work through like, hey, evangelical church, you got some things wrong and you're causing some trauma and you need to look at it. I so appreciate you asking this question, Mary Beth, and ask me more if you need to, but I wanted to make a video to try to help answer this because it is a very, very nuanced issue. So bless you and bless the rest of us as we're working through deconstruction. Check out my seminar I have coming up on identity that I think is a big part in the middle of this, and let's keep working together to get to the truth of where we are as we deconstruct our beliefs and look to where God is going here in the 21st century. Bless you guys. We'll talk to you soon.